Day four of eight. There's a lot more people, a lot more sun, a lot more alcohol, a lot more excitement. Cheryl brings you the final instalment of Oxford University's summer rowing competition. Let's go and talk to some of the crews. So how did the race go for you? Amazing, it was really amazing, very much fun. Did you bump? We did, yes. yes. And how's it been for the, across the rest of the week? Um, we bumped yesterday and then we rode on the two days before that, yeah. so it's been a good week. Well, Corpus have got blades for the men's first date for the oh. first time since 1963, so that's a pretty good record. Been far too long really, should have done it a bit sooner, but... It, it obviously pleased and relieved. It's my seventh and last eight, so I'll not be here again. Uh, we did quite well. We um, bumped and we were second in our division, so we were the sandwich boat for the next division, and then we again bumped, so we're in our upper division, which is perfect. I'm here with some of the uh, St. Anne's M1, is that right? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and how's the day been for you? It's been brilliant. We got most of the college down to watch us. Um, I managed to do a pretty good row as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, so, bump, any bump? Yeah, yeah, of course. Went exactly to plan. We bumped uh, right down by House Island. So, crowds, crowds, uh, you know, watching everything. So, how did it go for you on the water? Uh, it was a bit longer than the last few days, but no, it was fine. We did uh, execution, what we want to do, got the result we wanted. So, how did it go for you on the water just now? Uh, well, we just got blades. Um, it was a good race, half a good crew, uh, got them in the gap, so that's five bumps in blades, pretty good. So you're fit, yeah, you're feeling uh, very good right now? Yeah, yeah. Winning at life is the, is the term we've used, yeah. winning at life, yeah. So uh, yeah, I suppose it's a party for Worcester now, yeah? Yeah, we have boat club dinner, so a um, bit of a tradition. My exams start on Monday, so hopefully my tutors aren't watching. Uh, <laughs> my finals start, so uh, I won't be going too hard. So and we were head of the river in Torpids in 57, and we have uh, six of the crew, six of the crew down here at the moment, supporting Balliol. And and, and how Balliol, how Balliol done today? Uh, well, I haven't been doing very well, really. <laughs> Pembroke M1 stormed to victory in the men's division, whilst in the women's, St John's claimed their first ever summer eights headship. Um, okay, so you've just got the, you've just got to the head of the river. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, over the moon, happy, it's all worth it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. It's been, it's been a really long journey actually, and we've had lots of things we've had yeah. to kind of overcome. But and lots and lots of support. Yeah, the support has college. been phenomenal. Like, it's been absolutely incredible. So, thank you to our college for supporting us so, so much. A night of celebration and drunken debauchery no doubt awaits the rowers of Oxford University. Our congratulations to the bumpers and blade winners. A great few days. Alex Stronnell and Yi Yi Dong reporting for Chowell. See you next year.